breathing, our most instinctive and uncalculated function, is not on command, but an automatic reaction. This sustained process of breathing is the most basic interaction human beings have with their environment. Humans have believed that breath is spirit, and that spirit is our bond with the greater universe. Words for spirit and breath are often the same. Our body is temporal and destructible, but our consciousness signals us we are a part of immutable and indestructible energy. The atmosphere contains the oxygen in the air we breathe, and the wind is the movement of that air. The wind is breathing, the breathing of the earth. Unexpected change of forms the fabric take with the wind. It's not something like, you know, they will be like that. This is something we never, never expected. And of course, that's coming from the great wind. We never have this incredible wind of South Pacific. The creation of air and the process in which our earth breathes, and now we breathe, is a lesson in how small changes can lead to major effects. Mankind has developed, and we develop in our own specific lives, to grow and learn through a sustained process which is similar to breathing. These intangible, automatic functions are but a series of algorithms that have results only through the process of complex and apparently chaotic circumstances which are unpredictable at the time, although the end result may show a pattern. Our system is based upon a series of norms that are not linear, but multidimensional, and therefore create complexities that make all variables accountable for an outcome. The fabric is the sky, creating a never-changing condition. The sky breathes. It moves ambiguously, erasing time and place. The volcano as a room, the fabric as the sky, and the horizon creates the condition. A moment, a movement, can forever alter an outcome. From small actions of our planet, growing things, and mankind itself, we are breathing. <laughs>